Are you a woman searching for purpose and success? A housewife? Maybe a single mother? You're in the right place. Welcome to Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles. Activate, motivate, inspire. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. I am Ms. Lisa Nobles, your hostess, and I am so excited and elated to be here with you today. Speaking of today, our subject consists of peace, knowledge of self, just simply peace and knowledge of self. And I'm excited for you to be here and I'm excited to be able to share this uh, episode with you. So let's go ahead and grow together today. I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, let's begin. And I am very appreciative of you all being here. Thank you very much. Key number one is simply you may need to grow up. Grow up and stop trying to be what you cannot even be to yourself, family. Boom! Why? Because you are striving towards inner peace, okay? The other the other evening, a phrase that stood out to me during church service was hypocrisy. And my first thought was, how does that apply to me? And generally, a defense mechanism pops up in all of us, right? Right! Here's the deal. Many times we waste time striving to fulfill a facet of life that keeps us in a state of what? Denial. A state of denial perpetuates that we have it all together when in all actuality, we do not. If we did, there would be no need for the denial, right? Remember the steam. All right, here's the deal, family. I believe that this is a clear sign of an obscured, of an obscured self-concept that concerns the self-image and esteem family. Come on, somebody. You see, self-concept is as the perception of oneself that influences awareness of the self, period. It is kind of like only viewing yourself from a physically attractive aspect, family. When your mind or your thinking is connected to your mindset, in all actuality, it's obscured. Your thinking is obscured, right? Self-concept allows you to view yourself holistically, yet you will see yourself distinctively and find value within your uniqueness. You want to look for other people's validation of you. I will explore these concepts later in another Facebook Live because your self-concept is directly connected to your self-image as well as your esteem. Key number two is there is a purpose for this season because why seasons do a change. When you understand, family, this principle, and this is a hard one for, for some of us, you realize that because seasons that do change, it takes away from the shame and the guilt when you are in a mental cycle of a dysfunction and disarray. It relieves you of the honor that you will never get back to love again, to thrive again. It robs you of the joy of having an expectation of of a standard of yourselves and yet at the same time you are running from being the better part of yourself family i speak about strongholds in my book and i had one of the deepest strongholds ever for a long time that i had to admit to myself and you know what it was me some of us is you key number three watch what you feel your feel your mind with family what you allow to infiltrate your thinking will sometimes control you, family. Not what others have always said about us or how others view who we are or who we are, who they think that we are, or vice versa, but our beliefs, our values, and opinions are derived from our assessment of ourselves. That is powerful, family. Those reconstructions are what and oftentimes does hinder our abilities to to think in abundance to generate joy or to even live a fulfilling life or just even having fulfilled fulfilling experiences or living a life that is placed with peace without the obstruction of discouragement dissatisfaction or dysfunction right our thoughts can support our false conception of who we should be 
believe. Our beliefs often create fantasies, come on somebody, of a better life when we just simply need to stop and fix the current one. Watch your belief system is all I'm saying. And key number three. Key number four is a bonus in your last key for today is God, I am glad I can finally let go. In the past 24 to 48 hours, I have learned how valuable life is and what all and what all certain situations happen to, to see or remind you of who the authority is or should be in your life, family. Do not allow anything, all I'm saying, or anyone to suck the life out of you. No, 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 no. Take that how you want because at some point you have to stop caring about what you cannot control. How people see you, for example. You not you cannot control what people think of you, for example. You cannot control why this should or should not be, for example. But what you can do is finally let go or finally just go on. I had an epiphany. Sometimes all the hard work that you do for anything in life is to get it ready to give away. I thought I was doing something which had to become, which meant to define myself. Let go. Some things in life are worth more than the law allows, but when you let go, restoration can begin. That's all I'm saying. Guess what? Here is your empowerment quote today by Gandhi, who once said, the day the power of love overrules of the love of power, the world with no peace. Um, that's one of my favorite quotes. I am elated to have participated in this show today. I know that someone somewhere was touched by this wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this information with you today. Thank you for being a part of my show. And as a bonus, please visit www.iamlisanobles.com where you can receive free podcast resources for being a part of the Savvy Speaks of Empowerment Podcast with me, Miss Lisa Nobles family. I love you. I truly do. And thank you for being a part of the show. And you know me you know me just remember my mantra and as i always say you are you are a unique combination of experiences clothed in perfect strength and destiny have a great week and i will see you right here next time on the savvy speaks empowerment podcast with me miss lisa nobles bye-bye Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles online at imlisanobles.com and on Facebook and Instagram at EWOFP. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review and we'll catch you next time on Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. Activate, motivate, inspire.